Hey, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import stock prices and stock data in into Excel. Um, now, there are a couple of ways to do this. Um, there are some free extensions um, that are available that you can install uh, with Excel. And um, it gives you the option to bring in stock data, but most of the ones that I've tried are not free. But they expire probably after about a month or so. So um, if you have Office 365, you will have the option to import stock data. Um, and uh, if you go to the data tab in Excel and you do not see stocks, that means that you're not using Office 365. Um, this functionality at the moment is only for Office 365. So um, there are other ways to bring in stock data and we will look at some of them, uh, but not in this tutorial. Um, and this tutorial is gonna focus only on the option that's pre-built into Excel and, and not on any of the other extensions. So uh, in, in order to bring in stock data, you have a lot of options. So let's, um, let's take a look at some stock data and uh, we'll see how we're gonna populate this. So right now I'm on TradingView and I'm looking at the stock for Apple. Um, if you look at the stock information, I mean, obviously there are like so many different pieces of information that you can bring in. There's the ticker symbol, which is going to be AAPL. So this is really important. Um, and uh, also if you look at the price, you have the high price, you have the low price, you have when you have the price when the market was closed and you have price uh, for the, you know, during the extended hours of trading. So um, you all, you just have to know what price we're going to, or you are going to import into your sheet. For now, we're only gonna go ahead and target the price when the market closed. Um, so let's go ahead and see how we can do that. Now here I've got a list of all the ticker symbols, um, but uh, we're, we're gonna go ahead and only focus on some of them. Uh, maybe probably some of the major ones like Amazon and Apple. So let's go ahead and uh, also bring in some of the ETFs. Um, so yeah, I think we can probably use QQQ. Okay, so go, going back to Excel, um, one of the things that we would want to do is we're gonna reserve the first column for our headers. On row number two, I'm gonna go ahead and start typing in the ticker symbols or the name of the stock that I want to import. So see, for example, um, ABPL um, was the ticker symbol for Apple, but I'm just gonna go ahead and write the name Apple. So I want that. I want Amazon, right? Um, I know I want QQQ because that's an ETF. I, I know the name of that. Um, let's also bring in VTI and um, let's also bring in another um, stock called plug. Okay, cool. So now um, one of the things that you have to do in order to get started is, um, let me just make this a little bit bigger right here so that it's easier to see. Um, to get started, make sure you select all of the stocks that you want to import. Um, then go ahead and click on stock. And you'll notice that the ticker symbols have already been updated um, and, and you can see how uh, the names have changed. Um, so let's just go ahead and expand this a little bit. Okay. So it found all these ticker symbols and that's great. Um, now, if there was a ticker, ticker symbol that it could not find, then um, there's going to there, there's, there's gonna be a window that will pop up right here and it will give you an option to choose uh, from which exchange do you want to pull the data from? And we'll take a look at that in a minute, but let's go ahead and populate this first. Um, so now that we have our stocks selected, um, we are gonna go ahead and go to, you see this um, insert data icon that shows up right here? So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And this is gonna give us a range of information uh, or a range of fields that we can import. So the first one that I want to bring in is obviously the ticker symbol. So let's just say we want the ticker symbol. We also want the price, and I'm not gonna make this really complicated. So I'm just gonna go ahead and import the price for these stocks. Okay, um, and, and, and again, like I said, um, you, you, can, you can go ahead and add more pieces of information, the, the percent change or the exchange where it was imported from. Um, so you can get all that information here. So um, with that said, now that we have the stock price um, right here, we will go ahead and add a couple of more stocks to this. Um, the good thing is that these that now Bing supports, so this is all Bing data. Um, so now if we need to bring in the 
uh, price for some of the cryptocurrencies, we can do that. But please note that not all cryptocurrencies are supported. Uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin uh, are supported. Um, and I believe Ripple is also supported. But if you need to um, uh, get the price for XLM, Link or um, Algo, you would have to find other ways to get that information. And again, we will cover those in a different tutorial, just not this one. So let's go ahead and bring in um, uh, Bitcoin. Now, if I just type Bitcoin, right? Um, I get this symbol right here. Basically what Excel is saying is that, well, it can't, it, it doesn't recognize Bitcoin. So what is it that we're trying to type in here? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this um, help icon and uh, it, it prompts me for some options to choose from. Uh, should I import Bitcoin service? This is probably, this is a different stock in a different market. Um, and this is Toronto Stock Exchange. So this is not what I'm looking for. So the trick is, so in order to uh, import crypto information, you need to use BTC USD. So we are bringing in the uh, US dollar equivalents for Bitcoin. So there we go. We have Bitcoin spot rate. So we're going to go ahead and select that. So yep, that's what we want. Um, we will also do the same thing for ETH USD. Um, and we will also do, um, let's do, um, I believe Ripple. So let's go ahead and see what's up with Ripple. So the tip, the the ticker symbol for Ripple is um, XRP. So let's do XRP USD and let's search for that. Yep, this is the one that we want. Okay, great. Now um, the next step, we need to add the pricing information for these stocks. No problem. We'll select these. Uh, well, I know in the next column I need the ticker symbol. So I'm gonna get that. And then the next thing that I need is the price right here. So right now, Bitcoin should be trading at $49,000. Um, so that you can uh, go ahead and add that information. Now, at the top, we reserve the, the top row for the headers. Um, you can you know just go ahead and uh, type in the information. So this is the price. And likewise, if you want to bring in price for more, um, or if you want to bring in more information for these stocks, you can. Now, one more uh, in piece of information that I do want to share is how to bring the historical price of a stock. Okay, so to bring the historical price, um, you need to use a function called stock history. So let's just say if there was a specific date that I want to know what the price was for Bitcoin, uh, for um, you know, for Bitcoin on that day, um, I would have to use that function. So let's just go ahead and use that stock history. You have to define the ticker symbol. Now, in this case, uh, our ticker symbol is Bitcoin, and uh, we have to define a start date. So I want to know what the price of Bitcoin was at the start of the year. So I will just do 2021. And the ending is also uh, 1 1 um, 2021. Now, from this point onward, uh, you have a couple of options. You can define the interval, uh, whether you want the daily, weekly, or the monthly price. So I'm just going to stick with daily. And I do not want any headers. And um, I, okay, yes. So the next property here is. Um, what price do we want to bring in? So is it the open price, the high price, or the low price? So for that day, I want to bring in the, uh, the high price. So I will type in three for that. And um, there are a couple of other options. So you, you can add more information, right? So you can bring in the high price and you can also bring in the low price. So we're just gonna stick with the high price, close the parentheses, press enter, and then see what happens. So there you go. You have the information, um, or this this is the price for Bitcoin on the first of the year, and you can see how much it it's grown um, over just a couple of months. So these are some functions that you can use to bring in stock information into your Excel spreadsheet. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will continue to make a few more tutorials related to stock prices uh, and importing stock information into Excel. Because really, if you trade in cryptocurrencies, this option of bringing stock price information is not going to be enough. 
Um, so let me give you an example. If I wanted to bring in the price for Algo, um, I would not be able to do that because Bing currently does not support Algo, um, or we can also try to search Algo USD, but nothing's gonna come up. So um, it, it definitely falls short when it comes to cryptocurrencies, but if you're trading stocks, um, ETFs, um, you, can, you can easily bring in information um, if, if that's, you know, if that's what you're doing, then uh, this tool is best for the, for that option. Okay, great. Well, thank you for watching and I will be bringing you some more tutorials.